Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about the Display Manager in AutoCAD Architecture. Now, the Display Manager is more on the advanced side of things. It is a powerful and comprehensive tool and can be overwhelming if I try to teach it all in one video. So today, I'll be giving you somewhat of an introduction to the Display Manager which I do hope will spark the fire in your brain and thereby causing you to do more exploration and discover learning on your own. Now, I must disclaim that I do not have a lot of experience with the Display Manager, mainly because I tend to use a lot of the default settings on my own projects. However, I have been doing a little bit more exploration with the Display Manager. Um, this is coming off of the heels of the previous video that I did on Skylight Windows. If you haven't seen that video as yet, I'm gonna just drop the link below or above somewhere, just check it out. Um, but in that video, I mentioned that there was something that cannot be done in AutoCAD architecture. Uh, here's a recap of that. Here is the caveat. Now, when you're looking at it from a plan view, this is what the window looks like. For some reason, AutoCAD doesn't allow the window to look as is. And of course, after that video, a fellow subscriber reached out to me and explained that there is actually a way to fix the issue using the display manager. So now that I have learned how to fix the issue, I would love to pass that knowledge on to you guys, my beloved audience. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Um, let's jump into AutoCAD architecture and try to learn something new, shall we? Okay, so here we are in AutoCAD architecture. I'm using the 2023 version, but you shouldn't have any problems if you're using earlier versions. I'm pretty sure that you can do everything I'm doing here, so no worries. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into it. Uh, no hesitation. Uh, where do we find the display manager? So we go over to the manage tab and this is where that guy is located right here now before we jump into it there's so much to explain here guys but i'm gonna try to break it down as simple as i possibly can um but yeah the display manager pretty much controls your display configurations down here okay these are the default ones and these control the visibility graphics of various objects within your model your drawing depending on the view that you're looking at okay <laughs> so that's the first complication right there um, so for example if we're looking at a plan view why is it that when we look at this door from a plan view uh, we can see the swing and you know stuff like that but when we go to a 3d view we are seeing different details okay the display manager is what controls the visibility graphics of these objects so it applies to walls windows you know even the stairs you know all of these things are being controlled um, as a matter of fact let me kind of isolate this door here and uh, what i'm going to do is switch from the medium detail to for example a high detail configuration and this particular configuration what it does is to display more details about the door all right it displays the actual position of the door panel which is closed it displays the door stop it also goes as far as to display the door panels within the door and so is this something you want to see from a plan view perspective? Probably not. So more than likely, most people like myself uh, would prefer to have the door represented in this particular configuration since, you know, on a plan view, this is what you normally want to see. All right. And so uh, the same thing occurs if we were to rotate this in a 3D view. Now we can see the panels and we can see different elements or parts of the door. Uh, if we were to go to an elevation view, like the left view here, you can see even additional information telling us where the door hinges are located. So all of this is being controlled again by your display manager, which is controlling your display configuration. And this now tells AutoCAD what to show on your drawing, depending on what view you're looking at. Okay. Back to top view, this is what we are seeing. Uh, let me kind of, you know, bring everything back in the scene here. 
Um, so what happened now is that it does that sort of thing to every single object within your drawing. So when we go over to the roof design where we had our issue before, where we have our roof, we can see the outline of our roof, but the window on top of that roof is seen as if it were still in a plan view. And so this is the issue we want to attempt to fix in today's video. Um, the roof is a little difficult to see. So what I'm going to do here is to edit this roof style here. And I'm going to go to, I'm just going to click on this right here. And I'm going to change the cut above and the cut below. I'm going to change the color to maybe this orange color here. Just to brighten it up a little bit so that we can see it much clearer. All right. So I think that's better. You can tell me if, it, uh, if you like that. Uh, drop a like underneath this video. <laughs> so what we want to do is to make it so that when we see this window is almost as if we're looking at it from an elevation view, even though we are looking from a top view here. Okay. Now the display manager is all about fixing that problem. As a matter of fact, if we were to switch from medium to high detail, sorry, to high detail, uh, you can see that it actually give us what we need. Uh, but then it changes the outline of the roof. It makes it solid all the way. And that's, that's another issue. Okay. So I'm going to switch back to medium detail. And what I'm going to do here is to go to my display manager. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that we have four different drawings here. And that's because those are the four drawings I have open up currently, but the roof design has been expanded. That's because that's the one we are working on. Now within this drawing, you can see that we have three folders, one for configurations, which would be the same things down here, one for sets and one for representation by objects. Now I'm not going to go through all the nicks, knocks and the ins and outs of every single thing here, but I'm going to just show you enough to where we can fix this issue. So what we are going to do is to drop down our configuration. You can see that the medium detail is active as you can see down here. All right, let's click on this one here. And as you can see, we have a cut plane default settings, which we can you know, change if we want or, you know, leave it as is. Uh, we have configuration and this is where the magic happens. And as you can see here, we have different views directions like we have over here. And for each view, we have a set that is being assigned. And this is where things start to get complicated, guys. But bear with me. <laughs> so where do we find these sets and how can we modify these sets here to show exactly what we want when we look from top view because we are more concerned about top view here than anything else so i'm going to focus on top view here so the first thing i'm going to actually do here is to create uh, a configuration all right um, so i'm going to right click here and i'm going to say new and this is it down here so click on that guy here go over to general and i'm going to rename this to be roof plan. Now, once you create a new configuration and hit apply, okay. If we click on this pull up button here, you will see your new configuration here. Um, I'm not going to click on it as yet since we haven't, you know, make all the necessary adjustments. So let's go back to the display manager, drop down our configurations and we have our roof plan configuration here. We go over to configuration and as you can see, uh, no set has been assigned to these ones here, as you can see there, but the top and the 3D view has an assignment. Okay. I'm fine with the 3D view being model high detail. That's fine. Uh, but when we get to the top view, it has a set that I don't want to use. All right. So I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to say none. But the question is, where do we go to create a new set for this configuration? that is right in the next folder. Okay. So if we drop this down, these are all the sets that are available to assign to all of your views. So if I click on this particular set here and I'm going to just big this up a little bit more so you can see what's going on. This is where things become confusing and complicated. All right, guys. 
But no worries, I'm here to kind of break it down for you a little bit. So as you can see, a, a number of boxes have been checked in here based on the object. These are all the various objects that are available in AutoCAD architecture. And up here we have different display representation. Okay, so I mean, you know, we have general views, we have elevation views, we have uh, model views, we have model high detail, we have plan views. All the possible views that are in AutoCAD are up here. You know, I think it would be easier if I create one and then show you how it works. So what we're going to do is to create a new set. It's right here. And I'm going to rename this to be the roof plan set. Okay, let's go over to display representation control, just like we were looking at previously. And as you can see here, nothing has been selected. At this point, we can actually go ahead and select some things that we want to see. Because right now, as is, if we were to go ahead and assign this new set to our new configuration. So let's do that. Go to roof. Let's go to this here. Let's assign our new set, which is a roof plan set. Let's hit apply hit OK. And then what we're going to do is to go down here and select roof plan. Now, if you notice everything disappears, and the reason for that is because nothing was selected in our set earlier. So if we go back to display configure uh, display manager, go down to sets, go to our roof plan set. And if we start to check some boxes here of things that we actually want to see within this configuration, then things are going to start to turn on. And so, for example, we want to see walls, uh, but we want to see walls from a plan view perspective. So we look for plan and we look for wall and we check that box. OK, likewise for roof, roof and roof slab, we're going to turn those on. So we go to plan and we turn these on. Same thing for doors, we go up to doors. We want to see these from plan, um, but any object that you think you're going to be seeing within this view here, uh, you want to turn those on. OK, now the issue is where do you turn it on under? Is it plan view? Is it normal? Is it this or is it that? As it regards to the window, you don't want to turn this on underneath plan because we want to see the elevation of the window. We are going to scroll over to the elevation check box and we're going to check this box. So even though we're looking at a top view, we are going to see the elevation of the window within that view. So when we hit OK, everything that we wanted is now turned on the roof. Uh, we don't have any walls in this drawing right now. But if we did, you would be seeing those. Most importantly, we can now see the elevation of the window from plan view. And this is pretty, pretty cool. Now the window is being shown in this uh, color and I don't like that color. So if we want to change this color, we can actually change it uh, within this object by itself. You know, we can change this particular object's color if we want, or we can do something that applies that setting to every other window uh, that is being shown from an elevation view. If we go back to the display manager here, go down to representation by object. And if we go down to windows and we drop this down and we go to elevation, since we're looking at the window from an elevation perspective, uh, we can change these two colors here, which would be the sash and the frame and the this and the that. And we can just, you know, change it to something else. Uh, let's choose uh, this yellow here. For example, um, that yellow, all right, okay. And I'm gonna hit okay. And now you can see that the windows has been changed. One thing to note is that when you make changes within the display manager, it applies the change to your entire view. So if I had some additional windows over here, it would apply those changes. Um, if I wanted to make changes to this particular window by itself, for example, uh, I want to make these windows uh, in a hidden line like the roof itself. And the second thing I want to do is to turn off some of these other lines that we're seeing here. 
Um, the reason why we're seeing all of these lines is because, you know, you can see the, the window frame, you can see the window sash, you can see the window, uh, the window pane itself. All right. So we don't, we, we probably don't want to see all of that stuff. So we can turn them off and I'm going to do so to this window only. Okay. So what we can do here, uh, we're going to go to the edit style here. And if you notice elevation here is active being that it is bold, that tells us that this window here is being seen in an elevation view. That's perfect. We're going to check this box here and we are going to turn off some of these things here. So maybe we want to turn off the sash and the, the glass uh, just to reduce the amount of lines that we're seeing here. Um, you definitely want to leave this on, especially if you are, uh, if you have a, a window that opens up in a particular direction, you want to see the swings. So I would leave this on. And then the next thing I want to do is to change the, the line type of the frame. Okay. So I'm going to change it from this to hidden. And yeah, that's it. That this is all I want to see. Really. I just want to see the frame, change it to hidden. And I'm going to hit OK, OK. And just like that, we now have a situation where we are only seeing the window frame. It's now in hidden lines. And if I zoom out, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to bring the upper floor in and see what it looks like here. All right. So this is what we have as an end result. And um, I hope you learned something from this. Uh, definitely give it a shot on your project uh, mess around with it uh, and uh, and see where it goes all right all right that's it that's where we will stop for today go ahead drop a like on this video if you learned something new drop your comments and your questions your thoughts in the comment section below finally i would like to thank my patrons and channel members for your support and finally finally thank all of you for checking out my videos my channel i appreciate y'all see you guys in the next video